In Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, residents run for cover as homes burn and gunshots ring out. Scenes like this are becoming increasingly common, with protesters claiming armed gangs are operating with impunity. Dozens of people have been killed or kidnapped, with warring gangs accused of targeting poor neighborhoods. <laughs> In a period of 48 hours recently, at least four prominent government critics were killed, including respected lawyer Monferrier Dorval. He was gunned down outside his home after calling for another kind of country in a radio interview hours earlier. Haitian police say his death has all the hallmarks of a gang assassination. Many say this man, self-described revolutionary Jimmy Barbecue Charissier, is behind the violence. But it's alleged the former police officer is orchestrating armed gangs, and UN calls to bring him to justice have so far failed. Haiti's president, Jovenel Moïse, has condemned the killings and promised investigations. But his administration is coming under increasing criticism. President Jovenel Moïse denies any ties to the gangs, but his critics say he's leaving them alone because they allegedly attack his opponents. As things stand, Moïse is ruling by decree after Haiti's elections were delayed. Those delays have led to constitutional and political havoc and a sharp rise in insecurity. Haiti is still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Laura and the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, but protesters say the alleged ties between the government and gangs is a serious threat. So I think the government had already sent a very clear message that us citizens demanding peace, demanding justice, demanding the end of insecurity, we are the enemy. And the gangs, are, they, they, they don't have any worry when they are in the streets heavily armed and they are the friends of the government. Haiti has long been a fragile nation where most live on less than $2 a day. This latest escalation in violent killings has many worried that Haiti may once again be heading towards an unstable future. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.